Hello and welcome back to the Lobo Designs channel. My name is Heather Lynn. I'm the owner of Lobo Designs and I'm here today with a Procreate and AI for iPad tutorial to show you how to quickly vectorize Procreate artwork so that you can cut it as an SVG on your laser. So let's get started. I'm going to first get rid of these layers here. So I'm just going to unshow these. I'm going to create a new layer up top and that is the one that I'm going to be working on today. And the only thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna hand letter a word. I'm gonna hand letter my name and I'm gonna do it in true black with my script brush. If you don't have a copy of my script brush, you can sign up for my email subscriber list. The link is in the description below and you'll get it for free along with my lettering guides. I'm going to turn on the drawing guide because I don't know how to letter in a straight line properly these days. So I'm going to go up into the actions menu. I'm gonna go on the canvas tab. I'm gonna turn on the drawing guide and then I'm gonna tap edit drawing guide just to make sure that it's the size and the color that I want it to be. If I wanna change the drawing guide color, I can slide along this bar up here at the top. If I wanna change the size of the grid, I can zoom in or out here if I want to. The thickness of the grid, you can also control. There are a bunch of things that you can control in here. This looks good for what I'm gonna be needing it for. Maybe zoom in a little bit more. I'll turn down the opacity a bit just so that it's not distracting to your eye. And then I'm gonna click done up here to get back into my artwork. So now I can see the grid. I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but I can still see it on mine. It's just a faint line to make sure that I don't start lettering diagonally, which sometimes happens to me if I don't have a guideline to follow. So again, I have true black selected. I have my Lobo Design script brush selected, and I am going to letter around 8% on the brush size over here. And again, I'm going to hand letter my name. Okay, now that I have this, I'm done with my lettering. I'm gonna go up here into the layers panel. I'm gonna turn off this background color by unchecking the box at the bottom. I'm gonna go up here into the actions menu. Now on the share tab, I'm going to share a PNG and I'm just going to tap save image. It's gonna save that to my camera roll and I'm gonna hop from Procreate over into Adobe Illustrator. Now we're on an Adobe Illustrator blank artboard. We're going to paste this into Adobe Illustrator. If you're not familiar with how to create a new artboard, I do have a tutorial on my channel. I will link it below. It'll give you the basic overview of AI for iPad. But what we're going to do today is bring in that artwork and I'm gonna show you how to vectorize it two ways. I'll show you how to vectorize it as line art, which is a preference that I don't use myself. It will turn it into a single line for scoring, but it will not be a perfect single line. So I will show you how that works just so you're familiar with it. And then I'm gonna show you how to vectorize it with just a basic image trace. So over here in the photo import section, this icon, you're just gonna tap this once, you're gonna go to photos, and then you're gonna tap on the one that you just exported from Procreate. It's gonna bring it into your artboard. Right now, it is a big image. As you can see, there's a blue line all the way around. We're going to vectorize it so it looks just like the Heather without all the lines around it. And we're also gonna get rid of the white space. So now that we have this selected, you wanna make sure you have this arrow selected and that you have the blue line to show that you have your image selected. You're gonna go over here into this icon right here that's above the type menu, and you're going to go into object vectorize you're just going to tap vectorize one time now what that's going to do is it's going to bring up the properties mine got a little bit jagged here so i'm going to show you how i change mine over so i'm going to go into here and i'm going to play with the threshold here just to see if i can get this a little bit cleaner so i'm going to drag the threshold down a little bit and i think that that one looks good so you can adjust this if you want. You can adjust the pairs, the corners. You can adjust a whole bunch of stuff. The only thing I ever really play with is the threshold. And I just drag that slider down a little bit if for some reason it looks like it's getting a little blurry or the edges are getting jagged. It just means that there's too many anchor points that it read. So I bumped that down a little bit. I'm at 128 on the threshold for this. And what I'm going to do is make sure that I have ignore white checked because that way it won't trace all the space that's around the word Heather. And I'm going to make sure that that's selected. And then once that that is done, you're going to go down here and you're going to click expand vectorization. And what that's going to do, it doesn't look like it did much right now, but if you notice that the blue box that was all the way around the side of your artboard earlier is now just around the sides of the word Heather. And if you look now, you can go up into this top corner. I'm gonna hide my properties menu. If you go up into this top corner button, 
you can click outlines here and you'll notice that this has actually traced it into a vector. So this is where you can export this as an SVG. So I'm going to walk you through how to export this as an SVG real quickly. And then I'll go back and show you how this works as a line drawing. So now that this is done, you're gonna go up here into this menu up here. It's a box with an arrow, it looks like the share button that we have on the iPad and iPhone. You're going to do publish and export. You're gonna do export as, you wanna make sure that you have this selected, export as. You're gonna name it what you wanna name it, so I'll just name this Heather for right now. The format should be SVG. You wanna make sure responsive is not checked. Same as desktop, do not check responsive, and then you're just going to hit export. What I do here is I save to files, that way I can bring it up on my iMac when I need it, so I would do save to files. I'm gonna save it into my downloads, click save. I'm gonna replace it because I already have one out there. You may not get this pop up if you don't have one that's already named Heather. So I'm gonna click replace and it's going to save. It'll confirm up here that it exported properly. And then you can click this X up here at the top to get out of that menu and get back into your artboard. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you, I'm gonna draw this out as a thinner name with a thinner brush in Procreate. So I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna hop back in and Procreate, turn my background back on. Turn this off, I'm gonna create a new layer. Taking my script brush still, I'm gonna bring it down to, let's say 4%, just so that it's thinner. I think that just changed to three, it did. So let's do four, I'm gonna make it as thin as I can. Okay, so that's kind of thinner. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm exporting this without the background, share, PNG, save image, export successful. I'm gonna hop back over into Illustrator, hit the photo icon, photos, Heather. It's gonna bring this in, I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see this. I'm going to go over here, while I have that selected, I'm going into the same object menu, I'm gonna do vectorize. This time I'm changing the source to line art. Do you see how messy that got? So what you can do is you can play around with the threshold a little bit on this if you need to. It's still not as clean as I like it to be, like at all. So if you see this, I'm gonna show you it in, let's go down here. We're gonna ignore the white. We're gonna expand the vectorization. And then I'm gonna show you this in outline mode. It's single line but it is not clean. So if you can see here, these lines don't connect. See how messy that is? Let me just zoom in. So you could manually adjust this down to a single line file, 100% you could adjust this down. But what I would recommend, if this is what you're going for, skip the Procreate step, stay in Adobe Illustrator and use the pencil. So I'm gonna show you how I would do it. Let's get back into preview mode. I'm gonna get rid of this. Zoom out a little bit so you can see my artboard. I'm gonna turn the grid on so I can see. That should be fine for right now. It won't get in my way that much. There we go. So I can see the grid, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna go into the pencil tool. And down here, the smoothing is the same as the streamline function in Procreate. I love it. So I'm going to turn the smoothing up a little bit. Maybe we'll go to smoothing eight, okay? And then here, close path automatically, you can turn that off if you're going to be hand lettering because it's gonna try and close your paths for you and that's not something that you wanna do if you're hand lettering. So again, single line file only. We're gonna get out of properties. I'm zooming in so I can see my guides. And I'm just going to write this out with the pencil tool like I would with Procreate. If you notice, I had to lift my brush there. So I just try and make sure that these are overlapping because then I can go back in and I can use the Shape Builder tool to make sure that this is all connected. So there's my name. It's all in different pieces because as you can see when you zoom in here and you're looking in outline mode, there's overlap. So what you can do here is you can use the Shape Builder tool, which is super cool. So I'll show you, I have this selected. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go into the Combine Shapes menu. I'm gonna push this out so you can see what I'm doing. I wanna select Shape Builder 
and I'm going to draw a line through any path that's overlapping to get rid of the overlap. So watch, you just draw a line through that. You can tap on it as well. So here's one here, just draw a line through and it's connecting those paths for me. Let's go into here. Make sure that we have this selected. You wanna have your shape builder selected. top one here and I'm just gonna draw a line through that and I think that's the only time I lifted my pencil so now we have all of these that aren't overlapping and you would be able to take this let me turn this guide off you would be able to take this all of these together and you can go into here and you can make it a compound path. Now they're all as one and you could send this over as an SVG to score on your laser. This is a lot easier than manually editing the other version that had a whole bunch of overlapping lines and nodes, nothing lined up properly. It was jagged in the corners. So this looks much clearer. This could be scored. So that's why I don't always use, actually, that's why I don't ever use the line art feature in Adobe Illustrator because of the fact that it doesn't cleanly single trace artwork from other programs. It's much easier to do your artwork within Adobe Illustrator with the pencil tool and that way you don't have to worry about doing any extra manual editing that you don't want to do and that will take up a ton of your time. And that concludes this tutorial. As always, feel free to join us in the GlowCreate group on Facebook for additional tips and tricks on how to use Procreate and Adobe Illustrator beyond the screen to turn your digital artwork into physical products. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified of future tutorials, please hit the like button and subscribe below. Until next time, this is Heather Lynn of Lobo Design signing off. I'll holla at you later.